flag. Take all hats and hoods off, please. Right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <laughs> Good morning, parents, administrators, teachers, staff, and friends. We welcome you to our fifth grade culmination program. We are proud to share this happy event with you, and we are glad that you are here to show your support and give your love. This is a very important moment in our life, and we are proud to share, and we are glad that you are here to show your support. We welcome you from the bottom of our hearts. to share this special day in the lives of your children. This day is also meaningful to me because I'm actually culminating with them as I look towards retirement. And it has been my honor and pleasure to serve as your principal over these past eight and a half years. And I have such fond memories of all of you and the students and our staff. And I will always carry those with me in my heart. So thank you very much for that honor. Acknowledge our wonderful assistant principal, Miss Elizabeth Douglas, and our wonderful magnet coordinator, Mrs. Linda Phillips, and of course, we have our outstanding fifth grade teachers that I'd like to introduce, Miss Bitter. Mr. Carver, Mrs. Beach, Mrs. Hunter, Mrs. Mulder, Mrs. Orr, and Mr. Williams. He's working today, okay. The theme for our culmination is heroes. And this word probably means something a little bit different to each one of us. We can think of a hero as someone who has made great achievements, a person who shows great courage, or someone who is greatly admired. As we enjoy this special time today, you will be hearing your children's description of a hero. As they reflect on their own heroes, I hope that they will use this knowledge to guide them in their own decisions on how they choose to lead their lives. As their parents and as a school, we have worked hard as partners to provide a firm foundation for them as they navigate their way through life. Today, as the Lorne family, we join in celebrating your children's accomplishments. It has given me great pleasure over these past years to watch your children grow, learn, and mature as they reach this crossroads that will lead them on to middle school. I think we all have fond memories of all the open houses that highlighted their wonderful work 
And also, we can think about the plays, the orchestra performances, superstar assemblies, art shows, musical theater performances, Halloween parades, spring carnivals, and young authors fairs, just to mention a few. As a family, we have shared so many wonderful and meaningful experiences. Today marks an important passage in their lives. We know the significance of a good education, and it is a key to a happy and successful future. As they continue to reflect on their heroes, I hope they will take advantage of the exciting challenges and opportunities ahead of them. We hope they will continue to be considerate and thoughtful individuals, and they hope, we hope that they will work hard to improve the world in which we live. As our students culminate their life at Lorne, I hope they dream big and work hard to fulfill their hopes for a successful future. And now I would like to call on Caitlin Tizan to continue with our program. Thank you. The Uber contents will deliver speeches that they wrote. Please listen carefully as they share information about their trips. Their sentiments represent the feelings of many of us culminating, culminating today. Hello, my name is Christina O'Gall, and my hero is my big brother, Jill. He is a United States Marine currently stationed in Afghanistan. America has many freedoms, like freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and freedom of the press. This is our reality because of brave heroes like my brother, Jill. When my brother is at home, he spends time with my other brother, Robert, and I. Joe loves to play water balloon tag with us. This, ma this makes me so happy that he is with us. In February, he took us to see the Beverly Hills Chihuahua movie. <laughs> that they warm my heart because it is where when we can be together. We must never forget that our hero is caring, helpful, kind, and even playful. My brother Joe is all of these things and even more. He is my American hero. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. Abraham Lincoln, another great American hero, ended the Civil War and freed the African-American slaves. A hero doesn't have to be someone famous, however. Every family has their share of heroes. Your parents or siblings can be your heroes. As long as they care for you and are there for you when you need them, they are your true heroes. You too can become a hero. A hero doesn't have to do something big to change the lives of other people. A hero can be someone who sets an example, someone who cheers up a friend, someone who makes a lot more friends than enemies. Heroes are people that are respected and looked upon when one needs help. Heroes are there for you. You, as a hero yourself, should also be willing to care for those around you. 